on guys we are at a property <clears throat> it's the first time for us and uh, it's gonna be regular service you know every couple of weeks um, it's in a cul-de-sac and we're only doing the front yard uh, and of course my minimum is forty dollars front and back but you know even though we're just doing the front it's still forty dollars it's either that or you know they can go with someone else I don't really care so um, so we're gonna do the front it's a little overgrown so we're gonna catch some footage of that some edging and trimming uh, I was gonna do it this morning but it was real shaded had a lot of overcast the Sun didn't quite come up yet and I wanted to do it later in the day give it time to dry out some and get the Sun above us so that way you guys can see a little bit better uh, with the camera what's going on so we're using our new action uh, camera we should be shooting at 4k at 60 frames a you know 4k at 30 frames a second I believe so I don't know how well that's gonna look we're still experimenting with this action camera um, it's got a lot of other 1080p features 720 and 4k at 60 frames a second um, it's got some uh, some good uh, 20 megapixel uh, photos and 10 and 12 and so on so we got a lot of different burst mode action mode time lapse for photos and video so um, water uh, water it could go underwater in its waterproof case up to like 130 feet so it can handle some pressure um, but uh, anyway so we're gonna give it a shot it was about $170 um, and had some really good features and came to some accessories and stuff so I like that a little bit better than paying like 300 something dollars for GoPro and I had GoPro before and I was like okay this sucks I had the square one it was the um, the uh, whatever it was it was just a square cube is all it was and uh, anyways I don't I didn't care for it too much so I gave it to Vela but all right guys let's get started All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna get ready here. Get my earplugs in. Now the sun is pretty bright, so pretty much ever since I started wearing my sombrero, I wear it every day now. You know, unless it's like in the evening, the over there's a lot of overcast and the sun is hiding behind, you know, sunset. Then I'll go ahead and wear a baseball cap. But other than that, I just, you know, I wear my neck gaiter, I wear my hat, and that's it's to keep the sun off of uh, direct sunlight off of your skin because the sun's gonna beat you up man customers don't care what you wear they do not give a rat's ass what you wear they don't care if you're wearing an awesome you know whatever logo company t-shirt or all you little guys look the same or if you're all wearing you know I remember one summer I wore um, I had these shorts these swimming swimming shorts and I wore them one day and I had uh, a regular either short or long sleeve shirt on, I don't remember and then these shorts had pineapples and fucking bananas on it or something like that and I'm like dude I'm gonna wear these because it's hot as balls outside well I wore that and some other colorful shorts though that summer but that actually made it worse because direct sunlight on your skin is is no fun so I even wear gloves now because the end of the day this used to be totally like two-toned color and it used to get sunburn and and I'm not gonna you know put a ton of sunscreen on you know this way what I'm doing now I don't have to put any on you know I just cover up and I'm good to go and uh, anyways guys let's take a look at our uh, our uh, property here that we're gonna be doing the grass is kind of tall I mean you have people who will say oh yeah that's two feet tall well no you have the seeds that are two feet tall but the majority of the grass down here it's only about six eight inches tall but it's thick down there see so um we got some edging to do you know it's not real bad uh i don't uh i don't think we're going to use the edger i think i'm just going to use the string trimmer and it comes all the way here to the light pole you got people over there at the pool and then we're just gonna go ahead and, and do all that so we're gonna set up our we're gonna take it off a wide angle put it on normal and then shoot our footage then
Okay, <clears throat> that'll help us out quite a bit. Anytime you're doing a cleanup, that's what you want to do. Edge and trim, blow everything back in the yard, then cut it or mulch it or whatever it is that you're going to be doing with that stuff. You know? There's no right or wrong, but there are ways to do things that are easier or do things to make things look maybe a little bit better. Notice I got the B2 rack. Did away with the, the uh, that green one. Uh, got, a, got away from, uh, man, I can't remember the other name. The, uh, Green touch, yeah, that's the one I got away from. All right, so since we don't have a mulch kit yet on the Kubota, we're gonna use the Ferris. So,
what we're going to end up doing is once we blow all this grass back into the grass, we're going to mow it one more time. That way everything is mulched pretty good. Now you already tell this guy cuts it too short and it's already looking good. finished up we did go back and did the edging again just to kind of sharpen it up a little bit and uh, get it to to really stand out now we cut this at the max height that our machine can do which was four and a half inches Some nice edges there and it's because it's gone so long without cutting but Four and a half inches looks good. It's good and healthy. We went over the leaves as much as we could with the machine. Yeah, it looks great. Got up here in this corner there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Mr. Dragonfly. Mr. Dragonfly. <laughs> I don't know how close we could have got. Okay, so that's pretty much about it for this property. Um, we'll do one look from far away. Today we're doing like 11 or 10 properties. I forget which number this is. We got like four left, I believe. Here, yeah, it looks nice. Looks good. See, even at four and a half inches, you just you really can't stripe down here on the southern turf because the grass is too hard it's too stiff you need that softer grass that wants to lay down that's the big key that's what you guys have up north it's that softer grass down here you know i don't know if it's because it has to do with the heat or what but down here this grass really doesn't stripe that well hardly at all all right guys well we're pretty much done um, we're gonna go ahead and upload this tonight and see how the quality looks. And then I wanna order a couple of things to where I can hook this camera to one of the machines. That'd be kinda of neat, but we'll see. It may be too much bouncing around and I hate that. So anyways, guys, other than that, this is really about it. I'm Kevin with Texas Veteran Power Outdoors. See you on the next one.